What's up everyone, Trey Daz GT with a brand new video. Today we're looking at the 2012 release of the Converse Pro Leather Ox. Um, for those of you that have followed uh, my website, thefinewyork.com, you know that I listed this shoe in the top 20 releases of 2012 and for good reason. The last time we saw a, a good retro of these was 1994. Um, and after that, you saw some different variations. You know, they, they swapped out the midsole and did some crazy things to the upper. But the last time we received this shoe, uh, like this, was 1994, which was the last time I owned them. And actually, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a picture uh, of me with them. I got them for Christmas, and I just remember I loved that shoe. I mean, I beat them to the ground. I did everything in them. So, uh, let me show you, what, uh, show you a picture of me holding them. Okay, so now that you got to see that picture, um, a little a little thing uh, about these. Uh, now, I initially bought a size 12 in these, thinking that you know they were gonna run very snug, and they actually do run snug. They they're in the width department. They're very very narrow, very narrow. Um, but in the length department. They fit true to size, so I needed. I wanted to try on 11 and a half. I got a 12. I ordered it from East Bay. I wanted 11. I try out 11 and a half. So I went into a Foot Locker, Foot Action. None of the stores had them. They told me that no shops, no Foot Lockers or Foot Actions had these in store. So they were online only. Um, so right away I was like, okay, these things they didn't make as Probably, they probably didn't make that many of these things. So um, I ordered the 11 and a half to see what the difference would be. And actually the 11 and a half fit better for me. So I went with the 11 and a half. Now the 11 and a half does fit snug uh, on the side. And I do not have a wide foot. I, I consider myself, I have a pretty normal width uh, foot and they, they do run snug. But in the length department, perfect. So I would advise go with your shooter size, whatever you wear in an Air Force One, go with the knees. Um, the quality, I think the quality is nice. Uh, and for $59.99, it wasn't bad at all, you know. So I doubled up on them because, you know, who knows how long uh, it's going to be before we see this release again. To be honest, yeah, I mean, you really never know. And I don't know how many pairs they really made of these. And uh, I remember when I was checking eBay almost daily for them, couldn't find them. Uh, I do recall though that the uh, the the two uh, the 1984 release was uh, a little bit nicer, in my opinion, anyway, uh, in terms of comfort. They felt a little bit comfortable. And actually, I've been wearing the same size since 1994. I was 13 in 1994. And um, I still wear the same size. So, um, but all around a nice release from Commerce. I'm happy to have them. And uh, I mean, I don't know if they have them anymore on eSpay.com. I know Zappos had them and uh, a few other sites. Not many though. Not many sites got these. And um, the funny thing is, is that the high cut, the high cut uh, pro leather, went on sale quick but the pro leather ox which is the low cut didn't really go on sale and they did when they did put it finally put it on sale it went down like maybe i think like five bucks if that maybe ten at the most but it was i believe it was five dollars so i truly believe that this was a limited run that they did not make that many of them and um if you got a pair you know the deal and if you didn't, now is the time, and you want to buy them, now is the time to try to look for them. I'm telling you, now is the time, because if they don't come back out, you're going to have a, a, a problem finding them again. Um, now, I've seen other colorways, too. I've seen red uh, suede, and I've seen, like, a blue. Um, but in the United States, I've only seen the uh, these, the black. So, just a very nice release, though. And, I mean, with shorts... So, so anyway, next part of the video, I'm going to show you what they look like on your feet with shorts and with jeans.
right, everyone. So that's the video. You got to see what they look like on your feet with shorts and with jeans. Um, make sure if you haven't already, go follow us on Facebook. Uh, you can either click the link in the box below or you can just go into Google and post. Uh, type in Defy New York Facebook and it should pop right up. Uh, also, make sure to check out DefyNewYork.com, D-E-F-Y, New York.com. And also check out OSDLive.com. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop me a line. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.